I'm Brookhaven Town Supervisor Dan Panico, joined by Councilwoman Karen Dunn Kesnig. We're here in front of 18 Overlook, a house behind us that doesn't look so bad, but a house that is in the marshland. And if you're opening Newsday today, they're talking about the next Sandy and the environmental remediation that needs to happen in Brookhaven. We don't wait for the storm to come and hit us. We take action right away. We were able to reach an agreement in this marshland with this owner. This house is going to take down, uh, be taken down, and the property is going to be returned to its natural state in the floodplain. I'm going to turn it over to the councilwoman who represents this area. Thank you, Supervisor Panico. It's great to be working with someone like Dan Panico, who is, looks to the future and looks to help protect our natural space and our community. This house does look better than a lot of houses that we've demolished, but the most important thing is that it was built without permits, it's on marshland, and we're looking to protect what we can protect and have open space for this community. Thank you very much. And as you see, the windows are gone. We frequently partner with Habitat for Humanity. We had them come in, pick everything that they could, and it's taken to their restore facility right off of exit 59. Uh, Habitat is a great partner with the town of Brookhaven. Not only do we give them parcels to build housing, for uh, affordable housing, I should say, we have them come in to these demolitions to salvage what can be saved. We look forward to seeing you at our next demolition. Thank you for watching Channel 18.